Today has been a very, very bad day for me. I've gone to edit two videos that I've already recorded, both of which have corrupted files, meaning that the time I'd spent recording those rebuilds was for absolutely freaking nothing. So to cheer myself up, I'm going to be rebuilding Atletico Bilbao and I'm only allowed to sign Spanish players because every single player in their team right now is Spanish and I do not want to be the one to break that. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, smash the hell out of that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video that I upload. We are so goddamn close to 4,000 subscribers. It is actually unbearable at this point. And the like goal for this video is once again 300. Can we hit 300 likes? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have yet to see one of my rebuild videos before, here are the rules. The main objective of this rebuild is to win the Champions League. I can make any transfers that I want, making it as realistic as possible. All games have to be simulated, but the Champions League final has to be played. Now that you know how this works, strap yourselves in and enjoy the video. So we begin our journey with Atletico Bilbao with just under £16 million. And our first observation, it's actually a pretty solid team. Obviously, there's a couple of players that I do want to keep hold of. The likes of Williams, 18 years old, 71 rated, definitely worth keeping hold of. The likes of Munayin, Inaki Williams, Sunai Simon, Vivian. There's definitely some good talent in this team. And like I've already said to you, every single player in this squad, in the starting 11, the subs bench, the reserves, every single player is from Spain. So in today's rebuild, like, like I said in the intro, I will only be signing Spanish players. So if I do sign a player that is from a rival team, please don't jump down my throat. It's literally a part of the challenge today. So we do start this transfer window off by making a couple of sales. The first one being Mikhail Balanciaga for 2.8 million. And we've also just sent out Villa Libre on a two-year loan move to Feyenoord. We have also just sold Martinez for 23.4 million. And we have made our very first signing of this rebuild. We have brought in Jose Campagna for 25 million on the dot. So we have just sent out three players is on loan. We've just sent Esquieta out on loan. We've just sent Pexa out on loan and we have also sent Zorog out on loan as well. We have also just sent out Mikel Vesga out on a one-year loan deal as well. And this is the team after that transfer window has come to an end. It's an alright looking team if I'm being honest. Obviously there's a lot of work to do still. We've got a lot of room to improve. By the midway point in this season I do think that every single player in this starting level will be 80 rated or above. But with only a limited amount of money to work with there's only so much you can do. By the midway point in this season I'd honestly just like us to be in a stable position in La Liga. That's all I want. So we have reached the midway point this season and in fairness we're doing a hell of a lot better than I thought we would be. We are top six at the moment in time. Sixth place, 29 points and there's still a very high possibility we can get into that top four to qualify for the Champions League for next season. And I do have pretty big plans for this transfer window. Meanwhile we have agreed a two year loan move for Nico Williams. And we have also sold Yuri Bushishi for 27.75 million. If I have butchered his name I do apologise. And as replacement, we have agreed a deal with Alejandro Grimaldo, 26 years old, 83 rated, and he cost us just under 50 million. And this is how we got the team lining up after that transfer window has come to an end. Obviously, not every player in this team is 80 rated or above. Vivian Venkador and Sunset are letting us down, but I do believe by the end of this season, they will be 80 rated or above. If we managed to get top four by the end of this season, I would be absolutely buzzing with that. If we got top six, I'd be equally as buzzing. But if we didn't, I wouldn't be too bothered. We've built a foundation to build the team upon for the future seasons now and that's really all that mattered this season next season we can push for Europe if we haven't qualified this year. Well I'll be damned we finished top three this season we're only one point behind Real Madrid Barcelona absolutely ran away with it this season. They were like 23 points clear of second place Real Madrid but the important thing is we were top four that means that we are in the Champions League for next season and that is absolutely incredible for our first season going into this rebuild as well as that we'll have a a lot more money to work with next season. Meanwhile, it was Real Madrid who won the Copa de España. I think I need to drop this agenda now, don't I? Spurs won the Europa Conference League. Oh, that felt weird. West Ham won the Europa League. And it is a clean sweep in the European competitions for the English teams. Man City, West Ham and Tottenham Hotspur have all won their European competitions. Fair freaking play. These stats, pretty impressive if you ask me. The four players that stand out to me, Munayin, Williams, Berengue and Raul Garcia somehow got 14 goals, 12 assists from the subs bench. Tell me how that works. Overall, a pretty decent start to the rebuild, to be fair. Top four finish in the La Liga Santander. European football for next season. A lot more money to work with next season, hopefully. So it's all looking good for next season.
This season we'd be given just over £60 million. Now there are a couple of players out on international duty, but I think where I'm going to focus on the most is that centre-back position. Obviously Vivian, he's still young, he will still improve, 22 years old, but he is definitely a weak link in this team right now, so I will be looking to get a much better centre-back. And also, if our striker doesn't improve all that much this season, I will be looking to upgrade him as well. I'm being a little bit ruthless in this rebuild. I'm not giving many chances out. So upon further looking at the team, I realised I didn't actually need another centre-back, and I'll show you guys why after the transfer window has come to an end. So we have instead gone for probably the best option for a right-back I could have possibly got, Pedro Porro, 22 years old, 83 rated already, and he cost us just under 53 million. And this is the team after that transfer window has come to a conclusion. And finally, every single player in that starting 11 is 80 rated or above. Now, the reason we didn't go for another centre back is because we had this guy on the subs bench, and I never even noticed him to begin with. So he is taking the starting 11 position, Vivian was, and Vivian has been dropped to the subs bench for now. This team right now is looking pretty decent, if you ask me. I reckon we've got a good chance of making it quite far into the the Champions League this season. Speaking of the Champions League, we are in Group B, joined by Chelsea, Olympic Lyon, and Dynamo Zagreb. Now, if I was going to guess who's going to go through to the round of 16, I'd say Chelsea were going to take the top spot quite easily, and then the second spot is between ourselves and Olympic Lyon. Unfortunately for Dynamo Zagreb, I ain't got much faith in you guys doing well in this group at all. It's pretty much the group of death for you guys. While I stand corrected, guys, it is Olympic Lyon and ourselves who made it through to the knockout stage of the Champions League. Chelsea are the ones who's going into the Europa League. Dynamo Zagreb, man. I feel so bad for you lot. Didn't get a single point, man. But nevertheless, it is ourselves, Olympic Lyon in the round of 16, who is our first official opponent in the knockout stages. It's Inter Milan. That is actually going to be quite a tough game. Pretty much go either way, that could. And in La Liga Santander, we are currently sitting top four by three points ahead of Granada, who are fifth place. This is exactly where I want to be in a Champions League qualifying position. We didn't do a single thing in that transfer winner purely because we didn't have enough funds to bring anybody of value into the team and nobody really came for any of the players so we just didn't do anything but this is how we got the team lining up going into the Inter Milan fixture in the round of 16 in the Champions League I'm quite confident we can make it past them I think we may mess around with this formation too as well the 4-4-2 second variation I think it's holding us back on attacking wise but I don't know yet I guess we'll find out but anyways the Inter Milan fixture so here we are round of 16 into freaking Milan now that team is bloody all over the shop Jesus Christ I didn't realise how mad their team was until I actually looked at it. It's a 3-1-4-2, and their positions are just all over the place, aren't they? Hopefully, we can exploit that three at the back formation with the pace that we got in the wings and up front with Anaki Williams and Sunset. But nevertheless, first leg in the round of 16, what we get... Ooh, okay, it's a 2-2 draw. Pedro Porro and Barengu again our goals, and it was RDT, whoever the hell that is, and Dzeko getting their goals as well, all to play for in the second leg. So our championship journey could come to a crashing halt in only the round of 16, or we can best the Italian giant and book our place in the quarterfinals. I'm hoping for the latter. Come on, Athletic. Ho, 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 ho. 4 3 overall, 2 1 on the night. He took his extra time. Raul Garcia in the 107th minute, gain us that all important winning goal to book our place in the quarterfinals. Come on, the Spaniards. So we go from one Italian giant to the next. We are now facing off against Juventus, or as FIFA like to call them, Piemonte Calcio. They're playing a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, and they've got a striker playing as a cam and a cam playing as a striker. Make it make sense. Overall, though, it's a very goddamn good side. We're definitely going to have our freaking work cut out for us in this game. We are at home in the first leg. Can we use that home advantage? To <laughs> once again, it's a one-all draw. Two Shemeni and Williams gain the goals. Once again, it goes to the second leg. And that suspension curse has finally hit us. Pedro Porro has picked up a suspension. So we're definitely a weakened team going into this second leg. I'm pretty sure Juve are going to win it now. They've definitely got the quality over us in this game we are going to quick sim it and just hope for the best re oh my god we beat them 3-0 in their own back garden Berengue, Williams and Munayin have my babies 4-1 overall, 3-0 on the night. I think it's about time I stopped underestimating our team. It's freaking ridiculous. Now, call me cocky, but we've beaten better teams than Dortmund this season. I'm almost certain that we can do them over. Their team is literally all over the place. They've got Emre Chan playing centre-back. They've got Christensen, CDM, Kovacic on the wing. That team's all over the place. That genuinely fills me with confidence going into this game. We are, once again, at home in the first leg of the semi-finals. We win 2-1. Oh, my God. It all comes 
comes down to this. It all comes down to this. We win this game. We're in the finals and only the second season. 2-1 up on aggregate away from home against Dortmund. The bare minimum we need to qualify for the Champions League final is a freaking draw. Dortmund, I've got all the work to do in this game. The question is, is our journey in the Champions League coming to an end right here, right now? Or are we making it the entire way and getting our place in the finals right here, right now? Come on, Atletico. All you need is a draw. All you need... Oh my god, we're in the final. 5-2 overall, 3-1 on the now. We've absolutely destroyed it. Our run in the knockout stages this season has been so kind. Inter Milan, Juve, Dortmund. We've wiped the floor with all of them. And now we are officially in the Champions League final. So in the Champions League final in only 2023, it is Atletico Bilbao versus Manchester City. This is hands down going to be the toughest game we have this season. Trust me when I say that. But before we get into the game itself, you guys know the drill. We're going to see how we've done elsewhere this season. Once again, we have made it to the top four in La Liga Santander, which is amazing stuff. We have qualified for the Champions League one way or another this season, which is absolutely amazing. Real Madrid just freaking ran away with it, didn't they? Seven points clear at the top of the table. The end is champions once again. Meanwhile, Atletico Madrid won the Copa de España. Unfortunately, Arsenal did end up winning the Europa Conference League and Real Madrid won the Europa League. Munayin Garcia once... How is Garcia scoring 21 goals and five assists from the subs bench? This makes no sense. Sunset, however, 23 years old, 84 rated, grown up five this season, 17 goals, six assists. That's, that's decent. That is very decent. Now, from the sentiment position, 13 goals and 14 assists is very very good people don't understand how good that actually is and Inaki Williams 13 goals three assists that's pretty poor if you ask me he's one of our better strikers I'm assuming that he got injured at some point or whatever but if we are to fail in the Champions League final I want far bigger numbers next season from him Man City's team let's be honest is always freaking phenomenal so it always makes for a pretty goddamn tough game to play they have got a couple of Spaniards in that team who I would love to have in my team Laporte Rodri, but nevertheless, it is time to get into the game. It is Atletico Bilbao versus Manchester City at Sanderson Park in the Champions League final.
Let's bring it home for the Spaniards. Come on, boys. Pedro Porro is on the ball. We all know how good this guy can be. Pedro Porro. Oh, my God. Santa with his left foot shot. Edison, what a save. Munayin is on the wing. Can he find... Oh, that, what a ball that is. Head on that. Come on. Oh, oh, we got a ball and a beautiful bit of space here. Can we... Oh, we just can't break Man City down, man. It's doing me head at this point. Oh, Inaki Williams. First time. Oh, for the love of God. It's 18 minutes in and Man City haven't even been in our half yet. That's how bad they're playing. Oh, no, I don't like it when Man City are like this. They're starting to press. They're starting to play the football. Oh, my God, no. What a save. Wait, what's that? There's no way. That's a peno. That's a penalty. Are you shitting me? Let's take a look at this. So we get the ball. Oh, come on. Surely that isn't a pen. Unai Simon, you have the chance to be the hero. Can you do it? Oh, you've got to be joking. We're 1-0 down through the most BS decision. VAR that shit, ref. VAR that. I still don't believe that was a penalty. I think that was a little bit harsh. But do you know what? Nevertheless, it's Man City 1. Atletico Bilbao 0. No, we've got a lot of work to do now. Grimaldo is against Correa. Grimaldo has been done in by Correa. What is going on? No, 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 no. Get this ball. Oh, my God. We're 2-0 down. Oh my god, what is happening? We are getting absolutely destroyed by Man City now. That has got to be their second attack. Boys, we are getting absolutely destroyed. We are 2-0 down inside 35 minutes. This is unacceptable. What is that ref? Oh my god, Craze through. There's no way. There's no way that's a... Unai Simon, what a save, lad. That could have so easily been 3-0. Oh, my. If that was 3-0, I'm certain this game's done and dusted. Why aren't you catching that, Simon? Bro, what are you doing, lad? Munayin, can you find this man here? I can't pronounce his name. I'm not even going to try to. But we are away. It is literally one versus four. We're going to dink it in. Inaki Williams, get your head on that, for goodness sake. Inaki Williams, man, watch your run. All we need is one goal, and we're back in this. We're going to do a cheeky one-two with Inaki Williams here. Oh, that's worked a dream. That has worked an absolute dream. We've got Laporte against Munayin now. We've got loads of people in the box. Come on, get your head on. Nobody is challenging for this ball, man. We go into the half-time break, 2-0 down, and trust me when I say it is very undeserved. Right, we need another plan of attack. The crosses aren't working, so I'm thinking counter-attack. If we can get him on the counter-attack, and Naki Williams, he's going to do the rest of the work for us. And speaking of, Munayin is on the ball. If we can sneak one into Naki Williams, we have... Ref! Come on, man. Thank God for that. Pedro Porro against a former club. Have a shot, lad. Oh, my days. Edison, leave me alone. Munayin, get a good cross in this time. Get your head on that. For goodness sake, we can't bloody get any luck in this game, can we? Oh, we spotted an Aki Williams run. Please get off, for God's sake. Get your foot on it, lad. Come off it. Boys, this isn't funny. We are 56 minutes into the game and we are still 2-0 down. We need a goal and we need it soon. And Aki Williams is making that run. Right, okay, not exactly what I wanted, but it still worked out pretty decently. We've got Munayin. Okay, and Aki Williams is making that run. He's inside. Please, lay it off. Come on. Oh my god, you're joking! Pedro Porro gets on to Sterling pronto. Pedro Porro, how are you letting Sterling beat you there? Good defending regardless. Right, come on. It's time to bloody play the game now. It's time to play our game. It's time to stop playing it Man City's way and let them play. We've got to ding this ball over. And I can Williams do something! Man City, they've got... Oh my god, please. Please, just shoot! Thank god for that! Oh my god. We've made it 2-1 in the 70th minute. We've got 20 minutes left in this game to make it 2 all or potentially snatch a win here in the 90th. My God, we had Man City on the ropes the entire way through that attack. And finally, it took the left back on his right foot to rifle it home. 20 minutes left. Come on, lads. Come on. We've got it in us to do this. Grimaldo is on the ball. Oh, my God. He's got acres of room to run in. Grimaldo, he can snatch it for... Oh, my God, Grimaldo! What a play! Oh, my God. He's taken the fullback with two goals in the space of, what, 10 minutes to get us level in this Champions League final. You could not write it. Grimaldo is legitimately being the hero right now. He picks it up, takes everybody on, 
same goal pretty much as the last one. Apart from this time, it's on his left foot and we are well and truly back in this game. It's taken the left back of all players to get two goals for us to save our chances of winning this game. Pedro Porro, he wants a bit of action as well. Pedro Porro, he's on his right foot. Oh no, we got a bit overzealous there. We did get a bit overzealous, I must admit. Oh, Inaki Williams with the one, two. First time on his left foot. Oh my God. Oh my god, Edison, with an absolutely incredible save, saving Manchester City's arse there. Oh no, Nunes, get onto Sterling, get onto Sterling, get onto him, Sterling is rapid, oh no, not like this, not like this, get there! Oh my god, my heart was in my mouth, my heart was in my mouth, if we would have conceded like that to lose the game... My heart would have been in absolute pieces, but we go to extra time. Unai Simon, have my babies. What a save in the most crucial moment of the game. I'm not being funny, but 11 shots to their five. We definitely deserve them two goals in the second half. After what has just happened, after what has just transpired, Unai Simon, I knew you were a good keeper, lad, but I did not know you were that good. Holy shite. Pedro Porro, he's found Inaki Williams on his right foot. Edison! It's a game of keepers this is, I swear to God. Can we get this ball in? Didn't keep back post. Nobody's there. Edison has come out. Why is nobody back post, man? Oh, no. No, you don't. Pedro Porro, good you. Very good. And now we've got... Now it's our team. Can we spot... Oh, no. Berengue has got the ball. And Naki Williams, can he find that pocket of space in behind? Use that pace. Use that pace. Right foot. Oh, my God. That was... Oh, ah! My God, what are we going to have to do to get a goal in front of these guys? What does it freaking take? And that is the end of the first half of extra time. And we go into the half-time break. Still two apiece. Man, this is squeaky bum time. It is squeaky bum time. One goal for either team. We'll literally win it at this point. Whoever concedes, I can't see them getting the goal back in this short space of time, man. It just won't happen. Oh, my days. Something's... Oh, Grimaldo, the hero once again. And it's our turn now. Can we find Inaki Will... Oh, my God. What a... Inaki Williams. Come on, man. Grimaldo, do not let Jesus out of your sight like that again, man. Oh, my God, Jesus. No. Not like this. Not like this. Unai Simon. Holy shit. Oh, my days. This has got penos written all over it. It's 120th minute. Can we nab a last-minute winner? Can we? Oh, my God. What a ball. Please, please get on to the end of that. For goodness sake, man. You can't will it. You can't. It's going to penos, isn't it? It's actually gone to penos against Manchester City in the final. We make it two apiece. 120 minutes. Nothing separates us. It has to be decided via a penalty shootout. I ain't ready for this, guys. I just aren't ready for it at all. This is going to be pain. We are first up to take the first penalty and we get... Oh my God, I thought Edison got it there. Jesus Christ, that was a beautifully placed penalty. And KDB makes no mistake about pulling that top left. Bins, fair freaking enough. We ourselves are going to go top right. Bins, oh no, 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 no. That is not what I wanted to happen. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. No tricky stuff. I'm going hard and low. And we are going to go straight down the middle. And we make it 2-1 in the penalty shootout. If we can get a save here, that would be absolutely splendid. Come on. Holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. We're 2-1 up. We're 2-1 up. We're 2-1 up. We haven't won the game yet. We haven't won the game yet. We are going to go straight down the middle once again. And we make it 3-1. If we save this, I think we have won the game. I think we've won the game. I couldn't tell you right now. I think that would be the case. It's all up to Sterling. It's all up to Sterling. If he can score this, he has scored it. He has kept Manchester City in this game. If we score this, though, we have won the Champions League with Atletico Bill Bat. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Unai Simon, you've been the hero once today. Can you do it once again? We've done it! Via penalty shootout. So deserved. I ain't gonna lie. We have won the Champions League final in the most excruciatingly painful way. We have won by a penalty shootout. Commiserations to Manchester City, but I don't care. We freaking deserve that. Imagine trying to keep your team in the game with a chipped freaking penalty and it gets saved. Bernardo Silva, man, I got no sympathy for you there, but we do win the Champions League final in only our second season with Atletico Bilbao, which is absolutely extraordinary. 
Serie A, if you ask me. But we did have a very good run of teams in the knockout stages. We got Inter Milan, Juve, and then Dortmund in the semis. And of course, we played Manchester City in the final. If you guys enjoyed this type of rebuild, be sure to leave a like on the video. Smash the hell out of that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video that I upload. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers and we are so goddamn close to it. And the like goal for this video as well is 300. Can we get 300 likes on this video? That is all from me. It has been your boy Gordon. Hope you guys have an absolutely incredible afternoon. And until next time, I'll see you later.